Emotions run high as the crew of Atlantis, NASA's last space shuttle mission, bid farewell to the crew of the International Space Station, the ISS. It's the last of 37 such NASA missions devoted to building and maintaining a permanent presence in space. It's been a, an honor uh, having you guys on board. It's been great having you guys on board. Uh, it's great being a part of this really important and uh, historic mission. And uh, uh, we want to just thank you guys so much for leaving the space station uh, in a posture for, for continued utilization, continued use for the rest of the decade. On its final journey, the Atlantis crew took away equipment for repair and some ISS refuse and also left behind mementos of the shuttle's 30-year program. STS-135 Commander Chris Ferguson and the rest of Atlantis's crew are leaving behind an important American flag that flew on STS-1, the very first space shuttle mission back in 1981. That flag will be retrieved once again by the next United States spacecraft to fly to the space station. It will come back to Earth and then it will be returned with the next spacecraft that goes beyond low Earth orbit, that flag will once again fly into space in the future. Closing the hatch to the International Space Station for the last time, and with it closing a chapter in space history. The retirement of NASA's three remaining shuttles means in the future only Russian spacecraft will be able to carry people to the station. It's also hoped that private craft will be able to carry out resupply duties in the coming years. After undocking from the ISS, the shuttle will head back down to Earth for its final trip home. It's expected to be greeted by hundreds of people at the Kennedy Space Center when it arrives on Thursday. Nazanin Sadri, Al Jazeera.